astrology and other divinatory arts are not a replacement or substitute for physical or psychiatric health care. If this is an emergency situation or you are in crisis, please do not defer your wellness to readings or horoscopes. Seek situation-appropriate, qualified assistance instead. Hey there, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting November 7th, 2022. And just a quick reminder, if you are watching your rising sign forecast, remember your rising sign is giving you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And your moon sign is showing you the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that is also playing out throughout the course of the week. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This week, your big spiritual theme or the big focus is the Nine of Pentacles reversed, which is all about taking what we have invested a lot of time and energy, money, influence into and repurposing it to things that are going to serve because the Nine of Pentacles reversed asks us to pay attention to what's not paying off or what is not paying off anymore. Sometimes this can still be a very positive card because we are still bringing in a lot of profit, a lot of security into our lives, but it's not going to last if we continue to wait and see. And so we want to make sure that we listen to the heads up. A lot of the times with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, we have the end in sight for a certain era or a certain road that we have been on, and it's time to think about what the new road is going to be. When it comes to your material circumstances, you do have the Seven of Cups upright. And you may be spoiled for choice in this area, as the Seven of Cups is opening up many new worlds for you when it comes to new professional commitments and income avenues that are yours for the taking. A lot of the times the Seven of Cups can show up where we might feel a bit overloaded with information, a lot of offers, a lot of clients, a lot of recruiters, however it's going to go. However, this can be a good thing, right? It's definitely better than not having anything like that at all, and you're going to be inundated. However, with the Seven of Cups, you want to make sure that you are giving everything its due time and deliberation. Do not rush to any kind of new commitments, and do not trust things based on appearances. Take your time to inspect things well, because there is good here, but not all of it will be. So we got to know how to pick the right options for us and the future we desire. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you do have the Two of Wands reversed. And there may be a need for some quick correction or uh, rerouting going on with regards to some kind of to-do that you have going on with a friend, a relative, a business partner, or a romantic partner. Something is getting lost in translation, and it looks like somebody is getting a bit carried away. Usually with the Two of Wands reversed, this is a situation where people think they're on the same page, but they're not on the same page. Maybe they're not understanding the language the other person is using. Maybe they think they know what the other person is talking about. Maybe they're operating on assumption, or they're just not curbing their enthusiasm when they need to. In order to make sure things get back on the right path, we're going to have to touch base and not take for granted that the words that we're using are being heard the right way, right? Some people think they know what we're talking about, but they're not asking what we're talking about. And we got to make sure that we can touch base. When it comes to challenges of the week, you've got the Queen of Pentacles upright. Now, when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles as a challenge, this is not a bad challenge. You are going to find that there is an opportunity for you to rise to a position of power and influence and take control of something that you have been abiding by as opposed to leading or influencing. The Queen of Pentacles is all about being able to shape things in one's own image, start making the moves, the ripples, and become more of an influencer through the work that you do. Getting your hands dirty, right? We're not outsourcing everything or delegating everything away and pretending we're a leader. We're doing the work, but with the Queen of Pentacles, you're going to need to be ready to also start calling shots you don't feel comfortable calling. Maybe shots that you're used to waiting on other people to call. 
the Queen of Pentacles is her own boss. You gotta let yourself do that too. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you do have the High Priestess reversed. And this week, there may be a need to do some touching base here as well. The High Priestess reversed in love and romance can sometimes show up where a partner or you or maybe all of you, right? Maybe your whole household or just you and your partner or your marriage may actually find that you have been getting misled or are getting misguidance somewhere. Or there's a misunderstanding that we got from not so great information in recent history that we need to correct. More often than not with the High Priestess reversed, this is about something that we have been gunning for or trying to achieve together. Now, this could be guidance on how to handle something with maybe one of our kids, guidance on our finances, living situation, or maybe a career step. With the High Priestess reversed, really want to double check, triple check everything here because it may be that somebody who is supposed to be helping you or your partner or both of you is not really much help at all. When it comes to those of you who are currently single or available to new people, the High Priestess reversed is more of a warning. This is going to be a time where you got to be careful. You may be finding that um, you might be having a lot of people getting involved in your dating life or your romantic life that really don't belong there giving bad advice or offering to set you up with the wrong people or perhaps even presenting misinformation or false information about people that you're genuinely interested in. Trust your own guidance, do your own investigations this week, and let's just leave the third parties out of it altogether. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Music